Hello and welcome to the lecture series on Indian economy for civil services. In the previous class, we have seen the internationally acclaimed definition of economics as well as we have developed our own understanding of economics and the working definition of the same. In today's class, I'll be talking about organizing an economy. So there's a issue or there's a problem which has been haunting the human civilization since time immemorial such that they have to figure out who will own the process of production or how the organization of produ uh, process of production should be in an economy and this led to something called as the evolution of different systems of economies all around the world so let us look at it in greater details what what was the underlying question which was haunting the people of the countries and what were the possible solutions which have come up so there was a contentious issue which was which was troubling the humanity and what was this issue ways in which production process should be organized now what are the possible ways in which you can organize the process of production and these were twofold the first is talking about production should be the responsibility of the state meaning thereby the responsibility of government only and the second view is talking about production should be the responsibility of private sector alone so these were the twofold distinctions which were probably making some space and 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 creating an issue or contentious issue in the minds of human beings so as a result of this with respect to time and the underlying socio political context we have different sort of economic systems which evolved so i hope the contentious issue of ways in which the production process should be organized is pretty much clear there are two distinct ways one is whether the production should be the sole responsibility of the state meaning thereby the government or it should be the responsibility of the private sector and depending upon the underlying political as well as the given time frame in which you are looking at an economy three different economic systems evolved which were these systems these systems were the capitalist economic system the state economy system and then we have the mixed sort of an economy system so let us look at what capitalist sort of an economic idea or economic system evolved from which idea per se vis-a-vis uh, -vis the state idea vis-a-vis -vis the mixed idea so the underlying idea came from the work of adam smith and in in, in his book the uh, the wealth of the nations or to be very precise an inquiry into nature and causes of wealth of the nations 1776 adam smith said that the capitalist sort of an economy is the best sort of an economy meaning thereby meaning thereby there should be private individuals who should be running the economy per se this sort of economy is witnessed in united states of america so us is a very good example of capitalist sort of an economy let us look at i hope this idea is pretty much clear this is very preliminary idea in the next lectures i'll be giving you greater details into these uh, individually and and we look at it with the help of an example as well so here when capitalist sort of an economy is concerned the underlying idea of capitalist economy came from the work of adam smith who is an economist who wrote the book an inquiry into nature and causes of wealth of the nations in 1776 and he said that private individuals should be active and should should look at the process of production and they should organize the process of production and this sort of an economy is is witnessed witnessed in the united states of america so i hope this idea is pretty much clear let us now look at the state sort of an economy this idea is is, is rooted in the work proposed by karl marx so karl marx's ideology meaning thereby the government or the state should own all the factors of production and everything else so you see this sort of an economy or a communist form an economy in the erstwhile ussr and 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 in some sense you see this in 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 china as well so state economy entire market or in everything in the in, in the economy is owned by the state state ownership of assets so this is what is rooted in in the works of karl marx and that is how you came up with an economic system which is called as the state economy furthermore the last point which 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 an economic system is dealing with is a mixed sort of an economy to be very precise and this approach came from the works of john menard keynes and his very popular book the general theory of employment interest and money this gave an idea that there should be a mixed sort and sort of an economy meaning thereby there should be private individual there should be some government intervention and all sort of that and you find this sort of an economy or mixed economy in the indian context 
So we have some of the industries which are strategically important, for example, say atomic energy or space or defense, which is controlled by the government of India. We have other industries, for example, say telecommunication, which is controlled both by government, that is BSNL is one uh, or MTNL is one, as well as private individuals like Bharti Airtel or you have Aditya Birla Idea, we have Vodafone and all of these players, as well as you can look at uh, look at it from any other uh, retail market or or any other sort of an market or industry to be very precise so this is how you can look at the economic systems which evolved which evolved basically from a very contentious issue as to who will who will look at the production process or who will organize the process of production and there were two distinct views one was the state should be doing it alone and the other was private individual should be doing and on the basis of this with respect to different times and the different socio-political context in which you are looking at an economy it evolved into three distinct economic systems meaning thereby the capitalist economy the state economy and mixed economy each idea has been evolved out of some work given by some famous economist or philosopher the first one which is the capitalist sort is given by adam smith in his in, in his book an inquiry into nature and cause of wealth of the nations in 1776 and a very good example of capitalist sort of an economy is the united states of america then we have state economy the concept came from works of karl marx and we have ussr the erstwhile ussr as well as china and then we have mixed sort of an economy which came the idea came from the works of Keynes or John Menard Keynes who wrote the general theory of employment interest and money and in that he gave his ideas of mixed sort of an economy and India is a very good example of that. So I hope the idea of, of organizing an economy is pretty much clear. In the next lectures I will be talking about these systems in greater detail so please stay tuned. Thank you.